Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class we studied numbers from 1 to 9 and 0. Correct. Uh, we studied that chapter of numbers from 1 to 9. In today's class we will be starting with the new chapter that is addition. Alright. So first of all let's see what is addition. What is the meaning of addition? So now for example if I say I have two apples and you have three apples. Okay, and we want, I want to find how many apples both of us have together. So, then what we'll do? My two apples and your three apples together, we'll count how many apples are there. So, that will be mine, one and two apples. And if I add your three, that is two, three, four, five. Correct. So, we'll have five apples together. So, that is two and three or two plus three is equal to five. So, what we did here, we added the number of apples that you have and that I have together to find the total number of apples. So, 5 is the total number of apples with us. Okay, so this is addition. Alright, so let's see. So, finding the total or sum by combining two or more numbers. So, what we did, we combined the numbers 2 and 3 together to find a total. Okay, so that total, uh, the final answer what we got is called a total or a sum. Alright, here I have two sheep. Right, this is one. So, this is one sheep and then two sheep. So, these two sheep are there in a farm. Then what happened? Another sheep came and joined these two sheep in the farm. So, now this sheep joined those two sheep in the farm. Now, how many sheep are there in the farm in total? I have one, two, and three sheep. Correct. So, how many three uh, sheep are there? We have total three sheep now in the farm. So, two and one makes three. Okay. So, when you combine two and one together, it makes three. Okay, and the and that is there here. That is two and one. This and means that you have to add. So, I have to add 2 and 1. So, when I add 2 and 1, I get 3. So, we write it as plus. This is the plus sign. Okay, with this is the plus sign and it is read as plus. P-L-U-S plus. Okay, so it is 2 plus 3. It's read as 2 plus 3. So, the entire thing we read it as 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then we can also write it like this. So, 2, then below 2 you write plus 1 like this, then 3. Okay. So, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, in addition also we have different methods of addition. So, today we are going to see two methods of addition. One is the counting and adding method and the another is counting on fingers. So, we will do Addition by counting and addition by counting on fingers. Okay, so let's see how to do count and add first. So here I have a few bicycles, right? So we have to find the total number of bicycles that are there. So how we'll do, what we'll do is we'll start counting. So how to count here? So this is one set of bicycles. Okay, and this is the second set of bicycles. So, what we'll do first, we'll count the bicycles in the first set. Then, we'll count the bicycles in the second set. So, in the first set, I have 1. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Correct. So, 5 bicycles are there here. Then what we'll do, the, these here we have to add these also in the second set. So we'll continue counting. So after 5, I have 6, then 7, sorry, okay, we'll write that once again. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we continue counting 6, 7, and then this is 8. So, how many have we counted? We counted 8. So, there are total 8 bicycles over here. Okay, there are total 8 cycles. Next. 
we have a few bananas now here also we have two sets of bananas one is this and the another one is this set right so we have to find the total number of bananas so how we'll do that we'll start counting again so this is one two three four five okay so these are five bananas then we'll continue counting after five we have six seven eight and then nine so in total how many bananas we counted we counted nine bananas so the total is nine okay that is five and plus these four gives us nine all right then here we have some oranges so let's count again so one two three four five six seven right so this four plus three gives us a seven so there are seven oranges in total all right so this is how you count and add then we'll see few more examples there are few honeybees here so how many honeybees are there we'll cross mark we'll cut them as we count so this is one this is two three four and here how many we have one two three four so four plus four or what we'll do we'll continue counting so after this four here we have five six seven eight so a total of eight bananas is what we sorry eight bees is what we have so there are total of eight bees over here and then here we have some hats so let's count these hats so this is one hat this is two then three four and five correct so these are five hats all right so last example here we have some colorful eggs so how many eggs are there here so here i have one two this is three then this is four five six seven eight and this is nine so how many eggs we counted in total there are nine eggs so in total there are nine eggs so this is how you count and add so let's see some problems on counting and adding in your textbooks okay so chap a sec third chapter that is addition on page number 86 so they're telling here two birds are sitting on a branch so as you see here in the first picture there are two birds sitting on a branch then a third then one more bird flew and came and sat with these two birds now how many birds are there in total one two three so now there are three birds so two and one make three here and means to add okay we write it as plus and this is how you write we i showed you right so this is known as addition okay the plus stands for addition and the result that is result of addition is called sum now count and add fill in the boxes here they have told two plus four so in the first set there are two bullets and in the second there are four so let's count so here i have one two this is three four five and six so how many are there in total there are six so that means two plus four is equal to six okay so two plus four equal to six so this is how you write six so write the first answer then here there are oranges how many oranges are there one two this is three four five so three plus two is what they have given so three oranges plus two oranges together gives us five so in this box you will write five okay then there are some candies here so how many candies are there here i have one two three four they have told us four plus three that is this is four then this will be five six and seven so i have a total of seven candies here okay so this is seven in this box you'll write seven then there are candles how many candles are there this is one two three four 
5 and this is 6. So here they have told 6 plus 3. So after 6 you have 7, then 8 and 9. Correct. So we'll, what we'll do? We'll write 9 here. Okay. So total number of candles is 9. Now here I have some candy ice cream. So here they've told 6 plus 2. So that means in the first set we have 6 ice creams. Okay, so here we have 6 and 2. So what we'll do this 6, then we'll continue counting. 7 and this is 8. So we have a total of 8 ice creams. Then here we have apples. How many they have told? 7 plus 1. So what we'll do this 7 and then this will count as 8. So a total of 8 is what we have. Okay, then here flowers are there. How many flowers are there? 5 plus 2. So this 5, then we'll continue counting it as 6 and 7. So this is 7. Okay, and then bananas are there here. 5 plus 3. So 5. Then when you continue counting, this becomes 6, 7, 8. So I have a total of 8 here. Okay, so these are the answers. Alright, so we'll write the answers. I'll just write the answers neatly once again. So you all can copy it down. Okay. So here we have 2 plus 4 as 6, then here 3 plus 2, 5, okay, 4 plus 3 is 7, 6 plus 3 is 9, 6 plus 2 is 8, then 7 plus 1 is also 8, 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5 plus 3 is 8, okay, so this is how you count and add. Then we'll see the next method that is addition by counting on fingers. So add by counting fingers. So here we have three fingers in one hand and five in the other. So how much will be three and five? So that will be if you count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is 8. And then here what they have done, they have taken 3 fingers in one hand and 1 finger in one hand. So that is 3 plus 1, 4. Then we have 2 plus 2 here. So you hold 2 fingers in one hand and 2 in another. So you get 4. When you count all the fingers together, you will have 4. Then 2 plus 1. So you will hold 2 fingers in one hand and 1 in another hand. So that is 2 plus 1, 3. Now here we have 5 plus 3. So these are some examples. So 5 plus 3. How will you do 5 plus 3? 5 in one hand and then you add 3 to it. So 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, then 4. So hold 4 fingers in one hand. Then you add 3 more fingers. So that will be. 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you hold 3 fingers in one hand and add one more finger to that. So that will become 4. So you hold 2 fingers in one hand for the next one. Then add 6 fingers to it. So it becomes 8. Okay. Then you have 5 plus 1. So first hold 5 in one hand. Then you add 1 with the other hand. So that becomes 6. Then you hold one finger, then you add 6 more to that, so it becomes 7, then 1 plus 2 which is 3 and 4 plus 4, 8. Okay, so this is how you add numbers by counting on fingers. So let's see some problems on this. So page number 88 in your textbooks so we can also add using our fingers so let us add 5 and 
टू सो कीप फाइव इन द मैंड एंड स्ट्रेच टू फिंगर्स सो फोल्ड ईच फिंगर एज यू काउंट आफ्टर फाइव ओके सो लेट्स एड सो नाउ वी हैव टू प्लस थ्री सो कीप टू इन योर हैंड वन हैंड एंड देन एड थ्री फिंगर्स टू दैट सो हाउ मच यूल गेट यूल गेट वॉट यूल गेट टू प्लस थ्री यूल गेट फाइव नाउ Hold eight fingers in both your hands together, and then add one more finger to that. How much you'll have? You'll have nine. Then seven plus one. So hold seven fingers in both your hands. Then add one to it. You'll get eight. So then same way when you do four fingers in one hand, and then add three more fingers. You will get seven. Four plus three, seven. So like that only. What you do? For your homework, do the last four problems. That is four plus five, one plus three, six plus three, and four plus four. So do these for your homework. All right, students. I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.